Do you actually think that they are possibly happy? Let me tell you, of course not. They are mad and their blood is boiling due to your age. They are ashamed. Allow me to tell you, allow me to tell you something very important here. If you think that people, they like you, they don't like you under normal circumstances. If you can live with that mindset, nobody cares. It's my life. Uh, I don't have to please anybody. I should not trust nobody, but I will love whoever needs my love. But if they betray me, it's fine. I know that people cannot be trusted. You are good. The thing is this. There are people who are being victimized because of jealousy. For example, they hated your parents. They were competing with your parents. Now that they are your parents, they have you as a child. It's still a problem because now the competition is being placed on children without even ch children realizing Hmm. So she took his, a child to those fancy schools. Let us show her that we can also take ours. Let us show them. You get what I'm saying? The moment you achieve something, the moment uh, something is to go nice, they accuse you and they je get jealous. They are bewitching us. I know who it is. It's that neighbor. Oh, that's what they do, isn't it? Let me tell you that when you overcome the odds, when they look at your age and you do, you excel, it bothers them. Sometimes picture somebody who has made it big. Let me assure you, for example, myself, I know without a doubt that amongst uh, my friends, besides my friends alone, but I'm trying to say this, I mostly even check it with people I schooled with in the universities where I went. When I say universities, I mean that those people who you bump into university, you don't know your home or uh, where they really stay. You after that you graduate, you leave. Even them, remember some even on social media, you end up becoming friends, right? Back in school, you used to exchange content contacts. You would help each other when you're doing assignments and all. But one thing I've noted is that even with them, competition is there. You will see that. Hardly do they celebrate me when I achieve good things. Where I, hardly do they react to post to my posts about success, and especially those successes which surpasses theirs. Mind you, isn't it like when you all graduate? Come on, you're happy for each other. They don't have a reason to, uh, to be jealous. But the moment maybe you buy a car and they still don't have a car, it's a problem. That's the thing that I'm trying to talk to you about. That is why I want to tell you, like even in your case, don't you ever think they are happy for you. They are fighting against you. But above everything else, even if their blood can boil, I pray. My major prayer is not that people should love me. Uh, it's not that people should uh, love me. Uh, they should stop start caring now. My prayer is that whether they love me, they hate me, as long as they don't remove anything from me, they don't get in my way of my success, they don't bewitch me for it, I don't care. I don't even bother to want to pray against them. But when it comes to issues or matters where they start to curse me, they go and consult which doctor so that I can start to suffer in life. That's where we have a problem. Therefore, may it all backfire. I pray anyone that is coming against you while you are innocent, while you you never even provoke them in the first place. May God fight your battles. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, you can remember, you can book an appointment with me. Let it taste on the comment section below. See you next time.